Well, even though Hurricane Ian is still hundreds of miles away, weather experts say this is always the time to get ready well in advance of a storm. 7 News reporter Henry Coburn has more on what you need to know. Local emergency management is bracing for what could be severe weather this weekend. They say it's important that you get your plan in place too. So far, Hurricane Ian has battered the Caribbean with strong winds and heavy rain. It now has its sights set on western Florida before it's forecast to move north. And forecasters say storms that hit the Gulf Coast and move north to the upstate are some of the most dangerous. The reason is that when those storms come up on our west coast, we're on the east side of those storms. So what happens is we're on the strongest side of those storms, the area that gets those tornadoes, that gets that severe weather. And the mountains, although they're fantastic to view, they squeeze out a lot of that moisture. So what will happen is you'll get these pockets of heavy training rain and flooding concerns. Spartanburg and Greenville Emergency Management are in touch with state officials and they're keeping an eye on the forecast. They say now, while the skies are blue, is when you should prepare. Here's emergency management advice. Have several days of non-perishable food, medication, batteries, and a source of power for your electronics. If you plan to break out a generator as backup, now is the time to make sure it's in working order. You want to make sure that they're maintained. Make sure you have fresh fuel in them and have enough fuel to run for a couple days. And by all means, please keep those outside at all times. They need to be well ventilated. You know, have plenty of extension cords, drop cords, connections like that available to run in from a distance to keep that away from your house. The good news is getting fuel should not be a problem for our area. If you hear of fuel and gasoline shortages in Florida, that doesn't necessarily translate to shortages in South Carolina. South Carolina gets its fuel from a different source than the state of Florida does, so it's basically comparing apples and oranges. With Ian still so far away, changes to the forecast are very possible. Our 7 News meteorologists will keep you in the know. In Spartanburg, Henry Coburn, 7 News.